Hey, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. I had a great session today with uh, an aspiring voiceover artist, and I have to thank him for this question, so thank you, Tom. But he wanted to know what was the best way to find your niche, you know, or your niche in voiceover, because there are so many different aspects. There's you know, telephony, there's audiobooks, there's commercial, there's e-learning. And the list just goes on. I mean, if you think about it, voiceover actors or voiceover artists are the voice of everything that you hear on the radio or TV. You know, all of those, you know, drug commercials or audiobooks or, I mean, anything that you hear is a voice actor. So there's a lot of different, you know, smaller little niches of voiceover that some people fall more into the category than others, meaning some people might be better at character voices. Some people might be better at commercial work. Some people might be better with audiobook narration and e-learning, you know, long-form narration. Um meditations is another one. Um, there are just so many different aspects. And how do you find what you're best suited for? Your voice type and style and sound? What are you most comfortable with doing in voiceover? And I would say, try them all. You know, you don't know what you like or what you don't like or what you sound better doing until you do it. And once you start to get signed on to some of these freelance marketplaces like Fiverr, like Upwork, like uh, People Per Hour, Guru, Voices.com, Voice123, the list goes on. Once you start getting hired over and over again, you can start to see what you're most hired for. And what you're most hired for is more than likely going to be your niche. So the work that you do will be the biggest indicator of what niche you should focus on, meaning that your voice to the client or to the consumer's perspective, what your voice is most suited for. But that doesn't necessarily mean that you're limited to that one niche. I say try them all. You might be good at all of them. You might be good at most of them. You might be good at just one. But you don't know unless you try, right? So if you sign up for Fiverr, Upwork, all of those other freelance marketplaces, try a bunch of different, like, for example, Fiverr has different gigs. When you first start out, they give you, I believe, is it three or seven? I forgot. But they give you more than one to start with. So you know, try a couple of different things. And who's to say that you have to limit it to voiceover? I mean, again, for, like for Fiverr, for example, you could do, you know, one gig as long form narration, whether it's e-learning, audiobook, you know, YouTube video narration, and then have another gig for audio editing. If you're good at audio editing, if you've been playing with this for a while and you think you have a pretty good grasp on, you know, the basics or the ins and outs of audio editing, start a gig for audio editing. Or if you're good with video, start a video editing gig or a creation gig. There are a lot of things as a voice actor that you can do that meld together perfectly with your voiceover narration, like audio editing like video editing or creation. You know, a lot of clients would find it useful if you were a one-stop shop. So if a client came to you and needed a complete video production done, including narration, if you knew how to create or do basic graphics and edit and all of the stuff that goes into making a video, you could create the whole thing from start to finish. Create the video, narrate it with your professional voiceover, add some music because you're good with audio editing, or learn how to do all of these things. And you can learn how to do these things by giving it a try. I mean, there are tons of different YouTube channels 
There's so much information on YouTube and Google to find out how to do these things if you don't already know. But if you really think about it, with your voiceover service, in all of the ways the voiceover is used, if you could find the complementary services to go along with that voiceover for that particular gig, you would be one-stop shop for a lot of clients and they wouldn't have to go to a video producer here and then bring it to you to do the voiceover and then take it over here to add music and maybe some, you know, some whatever extra touches, you know, they could have it all done with you. And then, of course, your prices would reflect the scope of the project accordingly. So I guess don't limit yourself to just one thing or another thing or one niche or another niche. Try everything. Learn everything. So learn some new techniques and bolster your skill set to be a complete powerhouse. You know, your little voiceover studio could become a gigantic production house and nothing has really changed other than your skill set. So once again, my point is, don't limit yourself to one niche. You might have one niche that pays a lot more than others. For example, I do a lot better with long-form narration types of VO versus, you know, commercial or video game character work, but it doesn't mean that I don't do them. I do them. I do a lot more of the long form, you know, more e-learning, more meditations, more audiobooks, that sort of thing. That's my wheelhouse. But I also know how to edit audio. I know how to mix in music. I know how to mix audio with video. I can create videos. I can edit podcasts. I can. There's a lot of things that I have learned to do and I'm continuing to learn to keep to keep the ability to offer all of these additional services to my clients so they don't have to go and find somewhere, you know, some other person somewhere else to do X, Y, and Z because I can do it all. That is my main goal, is to help my clients get what they need to get done in one place at one time. So a little food for thought. But back to Tom's question to answer that, Try them all. Try all the niches. Again, you never know what you're going to like or what you're going to dislike. And some clients may like your character voices that maybe you don't really like. You know, you never know until you try. So don't limit yourself to just one thing or one skill or one deliverable. Learn a lot of skills. Learn to produce a very large deliverable with lots of different aspects. It only makes you that much more valuable to your clients. So I hope that helps. So if you like this video and you found it helpful, hit that like button and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. If you have any questions for me or comments, please leave them down below or send me an email. And if you want more information about me or my work or some recommended VO gear to get you started, visit my website at voiceoverangela.com. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.